Right, hello and welcome back to the Gas Beautio Stadium where we finally got to it. Exercise 8, which is free kicks. Uh, so what we've got to do in this one? Well, I should say at this point, this is probably, if you can pull it off, the funnest exercise there. I do like the target one where you're just flicking the ball and that, but hey, nothing beats getting a goal in. So this is what we're trying to do here. What we've got there is four little circles in front of the goal. You put your obstacles, cones, city fans or any other city players or any other inanimate objects uh, on them circles. So they're the blocks and you've got a little uh, circle here for the ball. And uh, in the exercise, exercise eight, free kicks, you've got five players. And then the idea is you have to flip the player, chip the ball over the wall into the net scoring points and glory now points how does that work for this one if you get it in and you clear the players that's two points obviously if you don't get in it's no points if you get it in but it hits the wall or hits any of the players or obstacles then that's one point now obviously let me move their footballs out of the way the flat bases are going to be better at the chip for this because they're lower so they can get under that ball. If you see how low they are compared to the other players. I mean, you've got easily a millimetre or two millimetres of height difference there um, that they get further under. I expect there is some techniques where you can use the older dome players, perhaps lift it and flick it up somehow. I don't know. Uh, that will only come with practice. But we're going to leave the flat bases to last you have to excuse me if i sound a little bit out of breath i'm uh, not 100 percent health today so we're going to put that on there and we'll start with our heavyweights five shots each uh, now i don't know myself where's the best place to place your player to get uh, to chip the ball over i'm going to go about an inch away um, I suppose you can go anywhere, but let's give it a go. Let's just give the first first shot. Well, there you go. That's him. So no points so far. Bit more power. So that went in, but went through. So that's a one point. Again, went through, so another one point. Little City players taking a beat in. Not too many people have issue with that, though. Right, what I'm going to try and do is get under the, under the figure. In fact, if I put him a bit closer, oh, I couldn't get the power on it, though. So that's a zero for that. I think we've only got two points so far with the heavyweights, haven't we? And that was in. You can probably see on the camera better than me whether the ball hit the player or the... Of course, the player went in there, and I know that is goal-scoring faux pas. Your player shouldn't follow the ball in. It's something that I actually agree with. I don't like the look of um, scoring a goal and the player goes in afterwards, so... I'll be fair and give myself, I think, three points for the heavyweights there, but really uh, we could have done better. So let's try the heavyweight replicas. First man up. So that went in, but massive disruption to that wall. So we've got one point for them. Oh, hate to admit it, but that was some great defending. Still only one point with the heavyweight replicas. Oh. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, just not getting through this line. Any City fans watching this be loving that. And that's in, taking the city player in as well. 
although the Rovers player did go in as well. So what did we get that? Heavyweight replicas, I think we got two points for them. Put the Ted's back in place. Now, as a beginner, surely all the success will be with these flatter bases. Let's give it a go. They're just naturally designed to be getting under that ball. Let's go for some uh, two-point scoring. Nice shot, but I don't don't know if uh, my player hit hit the obstruction. But at least we got one point. Another one point. So going well though, going well. Now I think for a bit of fun, I'm gonna take this shot from further away. Let's see if it makes a difference. Uh, well, I missed, missed the goal. Let's go and get the ball. He's uh, way over here. Uh, we've done three, haven't we? Right, so we've got last two, last two attempts now. Come on. Oh, I hit the crossbar. Got over, but hit the crossbar. Oh, nightmare. Last one. Come on, we want a bit of that. So get over that irritating red line of obstruction and get it into the goal. Come on. Oh. And we missed again. So again, two points. That's not brilliant. But certainly feels more comfortable doing it with the flat base ones. Uh, this is just for fun, this not part of the uh, not part of my attempt. Smashing them apart. Let's go for one more go. Come on, Rovers. Oh, dear. They're defending well. I'll give him that. Ball's there. Rovers come in. Yes! Score for the cask. Brilliant. So that's all the exercises done now. I mean, really, if you run through all of them, keep practicing them over and over again, then one day you may be average ability at playing Subutio. And that's certainly what I'm going to do. Um, the I think the Table Football Monthly competition starts up next month where there's going to be challenges set each month. Um, I've got a feeling myself, because of the additional lockdown, things might be a bit delayed. But hey, if you stay tuned and watch the videos, you too can be Scoring power goals like this. <laughs> Come on, I can't get one in. This could be a long video, folks. Settle in. I hope you got a cup of tea. Scoring power goals like this. Oh, you got to be joking. In the crowd. Right, go on. Last one, last one. Really is his last one. See if I could do editing, I could make this look really good. Scoring power goals like this. Yes, in at last. Brilliant. Well, anyway, those are the exercises. I hope you've enjoyed my beginner's view of them all. Uh, perhaps we should redo these in about a year's time, see how I've, see how I've got on. But uh, until then, up the gas.